guys today we're going to make spicy garlic wedges we're going to need potato of course chili flakes black pepper salt of course our peeled and crushed garlic coriander we're going to cut our potatoes after they are washed and dried into wedges as I'm illustrating and by the way guys I'm going to show you in another video how I peeled my garlic in seconds no more 10 hours spent on peeling garlic as you can see I'm done now I'm just gonna spice it up I added in salt and pepper and mix it nicely once your oil has reached the optimum temperature don't forget to put in your wages and you can choose to use a spoon it's actually the safest way but uh, for me this is easy just put enough don't put much so that you can no longer have space if you have a small pot like me give it a turn a bit and guys by the way you can also use an oven When your potatoes come on the surface then you know they are done just give them a little bit toss and then remove them and place them on top of a sieve so that the oil can drain itself and actually they are quite easy to make and they're not so much work you don't need to peel you just need to wash nicely cut them your oil salt paper at the beginning fry them and then that's it it's a little bit hot so I'm just gonna do a test oh it's cooked nicely and even as I press, that was so easy. It's crunchy on the outside, but really soft on the inside. And that's what we are really looking for. Now we're going to take our ready cooked potatoes, wedges, and we're going to spice it up. You can actually shake your <laughs> the bowl that you're using <laughs> for the mixture, for the spices. But I just used my hand and I, want, I must warn you that it can be a little bit hot add three quarters of the garlic into your potatoes so i'm just gonna take like a tablespoon put it there and the coriander just about enough if you love more coriander you can always add if you have less if you love less you can always add if you don't like it at all you don't need to add then I'm going to put my chili flakes just put as much as you can handle I like chili flakes this one specific because it's not so wild in then I'm just gonna use my hands to at least mix it nicely but also carefully And of course, if the salt is not enough, you can always add a bit of salt. And guys, the smelling at this point is on another level. Just imagine coriander and garlic. That's like a super combination. I don't even know what to say. The smell is just amazing. I just happen to love coriander so much. That's why I kept on adding a lot and a lot. That's it was really amazing and it also gives it a nice look 
look at the way it looks so yummy crunchy on the outside still and soft so I'm going to plate it and do you remember my mayonnaise from last video that's it for my second last video and guys if you like the video don't forget to subscribe like share hit that notification bell so that when I upload you get a notification and I love you all please try and make this enjoy and don't forget to share your results I'm sure you're gonna love it and the kids also love it you can just leave the chili and they will love these wedges they are super nice super easy and super lekker so if you like the video don't forget to share